So we're here at the Holly booth and I have a special guest with us today. Hello. Hello, Alex. Hi. And uh, why are we here exactly? I'm coming in hot. So now we're going to be kind of talking to Saddle of the Builders, Young Gun Top 10s and just do a little one-on-one -on -one chit chat and figure out like where their inspirations came from, how they got about starting this build. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. How's it going, Zach? Chris, Chris, your pleasure, man. Congratulations. Zach, Zach was one of the Top 10 Young Gun Builders. Zach, uh, the car behind us, just remind us again the car that's right behind you. Yeah, it's a 31 Ford Model A. How does it feel to be uh, in the Top 10s, Battle of the Builders, SEMA Young Guns competition so far? Uh, it's, a, it's an exciting feeling for sure. Um, I kind of went into it with the thought that like no, I'm already at SEMA, can't get that much better, you know. <laughs> first time coming to SEMA. But wait, time. there's more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, a, oh wait, but the, yeah. Now you have to go meet all these people and do all these interviews and your car here is top 10 also. It's like, oh, okay, well, thanks. You and it's, it's here in Vegas. Where are you from? I'm from Fremont, Northern California. So what's it like to have your car? I mean, it's not, I guess, it's not the craziest, like cross country, but it's still your car's far away from home. How does that feel? Yeah, first time ever leaving. Huh? No. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it farthest it's gone from my house is like thirty minutes. It's not like the cars that I'm into is stuff like this, right? So Stance and yeah. and, uh, and JD and stuff like that. Yeah. This is like literally these two cars are the total opposite of each other, but they're almost at the same height, yeah. um, which is really cool. So it's have the you same ever, stance. I mean, <laughs> no, you just need a little bit more camber, and you should be there. Um, have you seen your own car rolling by any chance? No, I've never actually seen my own car driving by itself. Yeah, I've never that seen feeling that. is going to be like one of the best feelings ever. Yeah, and uh, that that's going to be amazing. Fill me in on what you think. Obviously, we we learned a little bit about your car. What do you think about the other cars in the competition? No, there's some really great cars here. I was actually when I first started into cars, I was one of the Stancy boys as well. Oh yeah, you were yeah, one of us. I was, I was one of them. Yeah, I had I had a Datsun that was literally scraping frame oh. every. So do you have a shop that nope, you work it's on? All out of my garage. Yeah. All your all. Dang, all out of the garage. That's impressive. Yeah, it's all out of the garage. Out of the garage, on the floor, jack stands. And... It's very cool. Um, most proud aspect of the entire build. What do you want to? What would you show off the most uh, out of anything? If someone was like, "Hey, show me your car," and you only had one second to show them. What would you show them? The roof is all handmade. Like that's. Oh wow. That's just that's the that's just the sheet of steel that the first time I went and rolled out on a hard green wheel. So like, that's probably like the one thing you know. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I'm glad you're proud of your car. And I'm glad you are now in the top 10. Yeah. Uh, appreciate you and your time, and good luck in the rest of the competition. Thank you. So if you, do you have an Instagram people can check out? Yeah, I is Zach, I-I-S-Z-A-C-H. That's my Instagram, yep. Awesome. Thank you, man, thank I you. appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Sweet. Good luck, man. Thanks. All right, JW's gonna bother you next. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Chelsea. Right. I'll let you know when I start filming. Okay. I'm probably gonna mess up more than you. No, so you're, you're not, know, so no, you're nervous. not. I can tell that you know what you're doing. Nah. You got the big, <laughs> Just the, the furry thing? Yeah, you know what's it's up. For Any looks. guy who has that, they know. It makes me look like I'm a big guy. Mm. It makes me look professional. You look like a big guy to me. It's because I'm on this thing. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll okay. step down. Oh, okay, now we're like, a little bit like more yeah. on our level. Right. Okay. <laughs> Is this your first car? No. 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 Um, This was... My first paint job, my first molded wide body. This is my first show car. This is my first personal like show right. car. You learned how to do everything with this car? Yeah, this like was the car paint. that I learned on. You serious? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wish I could paint like this on my first try. Mmm. Mm, what? Mm, mm. Yeah, I went through some struggles. Oh, yeah? I went through struggles. I did this in a garage too. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah, it was. <laughs> A lot of wet sanding. A lot of wet sanding, a lot of respraying. Really learning along the way. <laughs> so this is really cool because I actually want to learn how to start painting my own stuff. Okay, yeah. Like, more like mirrors. I'm going to start with like mirrors and stuff and like maybe Yeah, headlights. absolutely. No, and that's a great place to start is little pieces and build on it. Learn how to get product to lie down and atomize on something flat, you right. know, and then start to move on to taking a flat piece and then kind of tilting it up, you right. know, and then all of a sudden going to a vertical and that's... I don't know, I started to learn. I wish I'd got to take a little bit more time to do that, right. but you know, it doesn't always work like that, so. So what kind of car did you have before this one? Um, <laughs> that's actually a good question. Yeah? I started out with a 1997 Corolla. Really? Yes, it was, uh, I am very blessed. My grandparents gave it to me. It was a gift for getting my license yeah. in Canada. We call it like an N, but uh, yeah, and then I had that. Uh, unfortunately, that, Rest in peace, the Corolla, right. <laughs> and then I um, bought a Mazda 3 from a wholesale lot in our town, 
and it was I think 1500 all in with tax so then I fixed that up not really fixed you know but like it needed some stuff and ones would chip and stuff so I just kind of cleaned it up and then sold that I think I got 3500 bucks for that and with that 3500 bucks I bought an Acura TSX and uh, I fixed that up quite a bit I cut polish that made it look better I sold that for it was like seven grand at the time. That's Canadian dollars? Yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then I did another Mazda 3, and then at that time I had about nine grand, so that's what I bought this with. Nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm super impressed that you, this is the vehicle that you started, and this is your first vehicle that you built yourself, and yeah, you're here. Yeah, this was... Top this 10. Is, I learned everything from this right. damn thing. This thing has seen my best and my worst. Right. Maybe not my best. It's actually seen most of my worst. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it looks it looks really good for being your first. I mean, even if this was your like fifth build, it looks really nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. You know, I guess two things that I'm the most proud of is this didn't get sent out anywhere. Yeah. You know, so you you have pride in what you did. Yeah, and I built this without sponsors. It was all out of you know my own bank account and okay. um it was built in a month a month How about that? amazing yeah i like that you know because it's uh it was a really horrible month you know yeah. let's not pretend that i had a good time but sema crunch <sighs> this was actually in may so i actually wanted to get the car ready for a charity uh car cruise okay. so that was my goal is to have it ready for that and unfortunately i missed it by one day really broke my heart honestly because i had just set my mind on doing that right. but uh it ended up being exactly a month on the day so I i'm really happy with oh, yeah. how it turned out i know i could still do better there's a lot of things that i look at and i go you know i need to fix that i need to do that i could have done that better but i think that's just all part of this industry and building cars so I'm really happy that you made it to top 10. I, I saw cried. you crying earlier. Oh, I cried. Yeah. Did everyone see that? Yeah, we all saw you. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> no, nobody saw it. Just me. You guys all saw me. me. I had my sunglasses on. I was hoping nobody would pick up on it. Yeah. Sensitive little Canadian. It's the heat, you know? It's the heat. It's just the heat. used to it. It's sweat. Give me a break. Oh, well. Congratulations. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. Okay, cool, congratulations. Congrats thank again. You. Thank you. Thank All right, you. let me uh, try to come up with a question that no one's asked before, because I'm sure you've been like repeating a lot of things, right? I can talk about this truck all day, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess one thing I want to know is you're 27. Yes. What made you build something like this? You know, because typically like a lot of older people would want to build a hot rod like this. Yeah. So what sure. made you want to build this? My roots are hot rods, oh, muscle okay. cars. My first car is a 69 Plymouth GTX, 440 big block, six pack. So like, that's where like I grew up loving hot rods and classic cars. So a 54 Chevy truck, when this customer found me and she was like, I want you to build my old farm truck. Ah, it's like, okay. okay, how do we make a old farm truck like badass and cool, and have like that hot rod attitude. So. I had to get a little creative with some of the things that I was going to do. Uh, I wanted to keep it as stock as possible, but like slight modifications involved in it. So Love it, that. Yeah, so it's a straight axle on the front okay. with a two inch drop and I modified it so I could get disc brakes on it and then having a big fabrication shop I was able to fabricate custom pieces to be able to make this stance possible, which you typically can't get this low with a static drop. It's really cool that you did all that yourself. Yeah, I've started this build in like a little one-man bay. This truck has gotten me some attention and we have been able to gather a pretty decent sized team and we're growing and we're continuing to build our brand and build justified performance. So you build build good things, good things come, I guess. So. What's your Instagram for you, I guess your personal and your brand? So I'm Craftsman Jeep Guy, that's my uh, tag, and then justified underscore performance. Yeah, we're growing. We're a small little shop out of Sacramento, but we're trying to make a big splash in this industry. I think you made the very good first step <laughs> in doing that. Make yeah. that to, you know, top 10. That, that speaks a lot. Yeah, top top 10. And there's some badass rides here. Yep, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's super humbling. And, it, it, and I just love the opportunity to be able to share my work and share my passion and continue to grow this industry. Because that's where the, youth, the young guns we're, right. we're the future so True. my favorite thing about this truck is actually a little detail that you won't notice up front so 
Perfect. These, I, I love that. Yeah, so these old 54 Chevy trucks, okay. the radiator core support is a lot shorter than the aftermarket stock radiators. Okay. So typically people just like hack this out, shove the radiator in there. Right. So, and to give it that elegant custom touch, I drew this up in SolidWorks, cut it out, formed it up, and then I cut the core support and just to make it flow like it almost belongs there. Right. When, and this, the radiator cap used to be up here. So oh, wow. It, we were able to get this big radi radiator in there in order to have AC and not get hot during the summer and be able to just cruise down the road, no worries, um, and still make it look cool. Yeah, make that, it look that like is it belongs super cool. There. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think it what didn't belong there. It looks so natural over yeah. there. Yeah, so, so. That is really cool. I like that too. I like those little things that like you did personally that no one would ever know unless you told them. Yeah. So not a lot of people are going to be able to tell the certain things, but I have a lot of a lot of pride in this build. A lot of time, a lot of hours, a lot of late nights. Right. So, um, I'm just happy to be able to share it with the world. Oh yeah! Thank you so much for sharing this build with us. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. guys. Appreciate it. If you want to but I want to know, like, what's your inspiration behind this build? Um, I mean, really, it was just the, the renders from Kaisel Salim for the body kit. Um, that, was, that was what inspired the outside of the car. And then uh, we just wanted to do something crazy and insane and rowdy on, on the inside with the engine bay and the interior and stuff. Uh, so that's where the 8 to 1 comes into play in the, the 6 liter LS swap. Um, so the, the purpose of the whole car is just to be a, a very track capable street car, but with like a high level of fit and finish. So, you know, to show people just because it's a race car doesn't mean it can't look good and, and right, be pretty exactly. and shiny. So, yeah, that's kind of where it all started. Cool. What about the uh, whole Japanese theme? Is that because of the render? Yeah, so, so that's kind of in line with the Live to Offend uh, kit and the theme. They, they had grab a lot of inspiration from Japanese culture. Um, so like the license plate is a, a Japanese license plate in that OEM is because this is the third Live to Offend car with the kit. Okay. Um, so their their car obviously has number one. There's a car in Germany that has number two and then we're number three. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's part of the it's part of their brand and they were a huge a huge sponsor in helping getting us here. Okay. Uh, so we decided to bring that through the, the final version of the car. How long did it take you? Um, so it's been off and on. The owners have owned the car for the past eight years, but he bought it as like a daily driver originally. Um, and he's just kind of been tinkering with it in a single stall garage. But um, probably about three and a half months ago is when we really got serious on it. Started laying out the calendar and uh, setting dates for when we needed to get stuff done and figuring out everything that we wanted to get done. Okay. Um, so like, you know, the engine and having it in and running and all the fab work being done and like doing the carbon roof and fitting the body kit and doing all the paint stuff. That was all broke down to certain dates in like the last three and a half months. I quit my job yeah, uh, nice. about two and a half months ago just to go full time on this. Awesome. Um, and so it's been, it's been crazy. It's been about 18 to 20 hour days for the past few months getting it all finalized and ready to bring here. But yeah, I bet you're super proud of it. Yeah, absolutely. This is your baby. This is. So how many ponies are we speaking? So it's just a, I mean, it's just a, you know, a six liter LS cam, uh, LS six heads that were uh, ported and polished by a local guy that does really good work. So estimate around 550 horsepower and torque. Um, actually, the first time we took it out for the, for the test drive, it twisted both axles on a roll. Wow, really? I mean, it's up there for, you know, a 2,200-pound car, 500 horsepower is plenty, more than enough right. uh, to put through the, the tires. You made the render happen. Yeah, 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 we brought it to life. Definitely. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Did you build everything yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically everything but wrapped the leather on the seats. I mean, wow. that and the upholstery guy made some couple little things, but everything other than like the interior, I did. How did you learn how to do that? Uh, my dad always welded and stuff, you know, okay. made stuff, fabricated. We have a hot rod shop, so I just, you know, got around, been around it and just learned it, you know. Um, I first started TIG welding, it was a little sketchy, but after that I got to like hang of it and, you know, cool. did better. So you painted all this too? Mm -hmm. Dude, that is yeah, that was super the, impressive. That was the first like big full thing I painted. Like, you know, that's the biggest thing I ever painted. Wow. 
So was this like your first time ever painting? I've painted like, you know, always painted smaller stuff, but okay. not like a full vehicle all at once like this. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, it turned out really good, actually. <laughs> How many builds have you done before? Uh, like I said, we have a shop, so, you know, we've been around a bunch of them, okay. but this is like my, I would say this is my second actual build. Second actual build? Yeah. What was your first build? Um, actually started as this, but then it got out of hand because oh, yeah. I couldn't daily drive it. Yeah. Then I built another truck to just drive every day. Right. But now I don't drive it anymore either. So. Okay. So is this like your daily driver or just no. a show truck? Strictly show, show truck. truck. I don't drive it at all. Right. That's awesome. How long did it take you, this whole process? Um, I guess start from the beginning. I'd say like six years but not six like years? overly steady you know like right. for a while I didn't work on it then towards the end I was really steady on it you know so would you say you're uh, basically done with this truck or um, you got a few more things you want to work on I would say so I'm pretty satisfied with it I don't think there's anything I want to change at this point cool all right well appreciate it okay oh. thanks all right I just finished up interviewing five of the top ten battle of the builders young guns so we're here at the Holly booth, and I have a special guest with us today. Hello. Hello, oh, Alex. Hi. And uh, why are we here exactly? So one, we get to be fellow judges together, but we're at the Holly booth right now by my car because it's in the Holly booth. So Where is it at? It is right here in the Holly booth, right behind us. <gasps> and uh, Holly's also one of the Young Gun. Um, they, they have lots and lots of parts on the Young Guns uh, built. So it worked out really nice. There she is. Can you do a walk around for me? Yeah. Cool. Okay. I feel so special. Oh, special. Okay, I feel special. I guess be on here. Okay, so it's got a 427 LSX twin turbo motor, 1500 horsepower at the flywheel, 1300 at the crank, through a 4L80 transmission. So um, it's an 850 car, cert. Um, I've been 830s at 160 miles an hour um, in the quarter in it. So I uh, drove to high school every day, built to be a street car, race car combination. Is this actually your car? It is. Is it? Do you it drive is. it every day? I don't get to drive it every day because I'm in college now. But So I started off, we built it to drive as a, a daily driver to high school. Started off very mild and then it kind of grew into the beast that it is over seven years. So it's been a continual build and um, I, I, I do drag week with it. So uh, we drive a thousand plus miles, race five days, uh, drive thousand miles and uh, make the round trip. So this car definitely has my whole life in it. So, my, me and my dad built it. We don't so. have to go. Wait, so you actually built some of this? I do, and I do all my motor work. So, me and my dad built our motors, uh, all that. So, pretty much anything on the car, we've, we've done. <laughs> cool, and then you have a YouTube channel, don't you? I do, Riding with Alex Taylor. Cool, I will put the link in the description below. And then your Instagram tag is right there. Thanks, JW. Is that all you do, eat, sleep, and race? Actually, this is a really super cool company that makes some really cool apparel, apparel and it just works out really well because it's kind of what I do. So, <laughs> yeah. stop we made was at the Holly booth and Holly is uh, pretty involved in sponsoring the SEMA Young Guns as well as they sponsor as well as Alex Taylor has a lot of Holly parts on her Camaro so while we were there uh, I figured we stopped by and take a look at her Camaro too. 